Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to share something that I thought was super duper cool. This is not my work. I'm a huge fan of this though. This is amazing. This is the highest resolution ever video of the surface of our sun. You are looking at a tiny little chunk of the surface of the sun. This like boiling motion you're seeing, this is what we call convection. This is what happens in a pot of water when you boil it. This effect in solar and stellar atmospheres was pioneered by the late Professor Erica Bonbatens, who I had the good fortune of getting to work with once in my youth. Each of these cells you're seeing is like the size of Texas, so 500 to 1,000 miles across. The resolution is incredible, but what astounds me is the time scale. Look at the clock. You're seeing something the size of Texas boil and move and shift in five to 10 minutes. This is a very small portion of the sun, something like 0.01%. To draw an analogy, this would be like standing back from the Earth from like a million miles and taking a high resolution picture of Vermont. Now this new movie comes from the Daniel K. Inouye Solar Telescope, DKIST, which is this massive four meter diameter telescope. Now if you've ever taken a magnifying glass and pointed it at the sun, you know that that's collecting a lot of heat. So the engineering marvel required to take a 12 foot piece of glass and focus it from the sun. The whole facility is full of like liquid cooling and airflow considerations. On top of that, they use what we call adaptive optics, which means they're constantly reshaping the mirror in real time to get this incredibly crispy, beautiful image of the solar surface. It's really astounding. The only thing more amazing than DKIS is the story of Daniel K. Inouye himself. He was like the first senator and the, and the first representative, I think, from Hawaii. He also spent most of his life with one arm because he was an incredible war hero. Please go check out his Wikipedia page that I'll link below. It reads like an amazing action film. Now this is a press release image or video, so it means it's both better and worse than the real data. It's better in that it's been cleaned up and smoothed. It's worse because the system's not at full capacity yet, and by smoothing it, you lose a little bit of the fine scale detail. Please make the next press release image like a zoom in of a sunspot. I cannot wait to see how amazing the detail that he just gathers is. Forget those wide area, all sky surveys that we're always talking about. If you're interested in the big data and data analysis challenges that astronomy has, check out the sun.